Welcome to another episode of 10 Quick Questions with a Christian. And today we're lucky enough to have everyone's favourite principal and general good bloke, Mr. Smart. Thanks, Mr. Smart. No worries. Nice to be here, Mr. Price. Now, first question. Tell us a bit about yourself. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> As an old fella, there's lots to tell, um, but just out of, just a quick interest story, um, our new PE teacher, Amy uh, Foster, Miss Foster, actually comes from where I was born, my hometown, Emmerville. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call my hometown because I grew up in Tamworth, but I was born in Emmerville, um, and, and uh, Miss Foster comes from Emmerville. There's only a few legends that come from that part of the world, and we're two of them. That's great, Mr. Smart. Can you tell us um, how you became a Christian? Look, I grew up in a Christian family. Uh, my father is an Anglican minister, so I've always been connected to church um, since I was tiny. Um, but really, um, when I uh, started to really engage with it personally myself was in about that year 9, 10 stage. I went to youth group. I'd done all the Sunday school stuff. I was always in church every Sunday. But, but uh, just a few key messages at youth group made me think carefully about the fact that I thought it was important personally for me. Uh, so that's when I became a Christian. So you chose to become a Christian? Yeah, absolutely. Um, took the time to stop and, and ask God to forgive me um, and uh, be central to my life and help me make good decisions. Um, and I've stayed in that space ever since. Question three, what hobbies do you have? Look, I just really enjoy spending time with family. That's probably the key thing is my hobby. Um, and just sitting around chatting uh, on the veranda um, or doing things at home, working together uh, around our little five acres. Those things are my hobbies. Of course, I'm a reader, so I love to read. Um, and so I'm reading the Bible every night and I'm also reading something else, mostly sort of a action novel. That's great. How does being a Christian help you in your life? Well, it, it gives purpose, I think, is the key thing. Um, I know that God has a purpose for me, um, and in the role as being a principal, I think that's pretty critical, um, that, that he's there supporting me in the decisions that I need to make things that are going on in our school life, my own personal life. So I think the purpose thing is probably the key uh, factor in that. Thanks. Next, a controversial question. Apple or Android? Look, it's a really tricky one for me because I have to deal with both um, in this role. The, the uh, Microsoft stuff is the school-based activity and they're fine, great devices. But I do lean towards um, the iPad and, and my iPhone. So I'm, I've got a foot in both camps. Probably if you push me, I'd say Apple. Yeah, great. Apple. <laughs> um, favourite food? A nice steak. Uh, I think you can't go past a good steak. Mm. So what is the hardest thing about being a Christian? Well, I think... Um, grappling with the pain and suffering in the world, um, especially trying to explain that to other people um, in a way that helps them get it. So I think that probably is the hardest part. Um, and probably uh, my, still my biggest challenge. What piece of advice would you give the rest of the school? Um, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Get into a bit of grit and enjoy your learning. No, thanks. <laughs> had, to be, had to be this year's <laughs> motto. <laughs> I was expecting that. And last question, and favourite question, or best question, your favourite thing about Jesus? Uh, just his unconditional love for us. Simple. That's great. Thanks, Mr Smart. No worries, Mr Price. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Ten quick questions with a Christian, with everyone's favourite principal, Mr Smart. Thanks, Mr. Price. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>